Hi hey everyone, so I thought we'd have a look at how to make a box stitch keychain. To make this one today I'm using two pieces of paracord, 90 centimeters each, and I've found the center of both of them. And at one of them I just threaded a key ring onto it at the center, and I'm just going to lay that one vertically. And then I'm going to grab the other strand and lay that horizontally across so that they meet at the center. I'm going to take this bottom piece and lay it up and then moving anti-clockwise I'm going to lay this one across this piece down over and then the final piece I'm going to go over and then under this blue piece and then gently draw this together until it forms a box shape or a square shape and then just tighten it up by pulling on each of the strands and you should end up with that with the key ring threaded right down here at the bottom. So once we have this bottom key ring set we're just going to repeat the same sort of pattern. So starting at the bottom here I'm going to bring that up and running anti-clockwise this time I'm going to bring that right hand strand across top strand down and then this bottom strand over and then under that one. Just need to tuck it through here. And again work that knot tight just by pulling on each of the strands. And then we're going to start again at the bottom, this bottom left hand strand this time, and we're going to work clockwise. Let's bring that up, right hand strand across, top strand down, and then this right hand strand over under. And again, work the knot tight. And then we just need to keep repeating that pattern, starting at the bottom. And if we start with the bottom right hand strand going up, we're going to work anti-clockwise. And if we started with the bottom left hand strand going up, we would work clockwise around. We just need to keep repeating that pattern until we get the key fob as long as we want to get it. So once you get it to the length you want, the last thing you want to do is just make sure that this last knot is nice and tight. And then we can snip these ends. Just snip it about 2mm from the edge. And then just need to singe it with a lighter. So Singe the end with a lighter and then smush it into place. And just make sure that this end bit is nice and wide so it doesn't pull back through the knot. And we just need to repeat that for all three strands. And then once you've done that, you should have your finished keychain.